boys and girls, good morning. How are we all doing? Are we all well? Did you miss me? Of course you missed me. I know you missed me. You always miss me. Boys and girls, today in our service, we're talking about something that sounds a little weird. We're talking about being born again. Now, that sounds a little weird. How can you be born again? Hmm? I mean, I'm not a small man. So how am I supposed to fit back into my mummy's tummy to be born again? That doesn't make sense. And yet Jesus says it in the Bible. You must be born again. Let me tell you the wee story that happened. There's a guy called Nicodemus. And he comes to Jesus and says, Hey, Jesus, you're pretty cool. And Jesus says, Well, you're not going to see the kingdom of God unless you're born again. And Nicodemus is like, What? Why is anyone supposed to be born again? How do you go back inside your mummy's tummy to be born again? And Jesus was like, Oh, I mean a spiritual birth, not a physical birth, a spiritual birth. And Nicodemus was like, oh. And Nicodemus actually, later on in the Bible, he's actually involved when Jesus dies. You watch out for that. So I think Nicodemus got it. But what does it mean to be born again? Well, here's what it means. It's talking, Jesus is talking about a spiritual birth. So whenever you're born now, you're alive. But you don't have a spiritual birth until you ask Jesus to forgive you for your sins. And when you do that, it's like you get a new birthday. It's like you're born again. You get a new birthday because that's when your eternal life starts. Later on, Jesus says to Nicodemus, that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. And when we believe in Jesus Christ and we ask him to forgive us for our sins and we trust in him, we get eternal life. And that's when we are born again. We don't go back inside our mummy's tummies. No, that would be weird. I think my mum would explode. So it's not that. It means that we are born spiritually. We get the Holy Spirit in us. We get to live forever with Jesus. That's what it means to be born again. And we won't see the kingdom of God. We won't get to heaven unless we are born again. And so that's why, boys and girls in church, I ask people to put their trust in Jesus Christ, to ask Jesus to forgive them for their sins so that they can have eternal life too and be born again. Because unless someone's born again, they're not going to see the kingdom of God. And so it's really important that we ask Jesus to forgive us for our sins and to give us new life and be born again. So boys and girls, whenever you hear that word about being born again, doesn't have to sound a bit weird. Just remember, it means asking Jesus to forgive you for your sins, to come into your heart and to give you new life. And that's what every Christian who's done that has. They have a new life and they're born again. Boys and girls, that's all I want to say. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. <laughs>